says the living God. And they say as in the days of Noah. But I say to you, it shall be as in the days of Noah that another flood shall come upon this earth. And it shall not be the flood of destruction, but it is and shall be the flood of my glory that shall cover this earth as the waters cover the sea. Therefore, watch what is arising among you, United States. For the friends to your north, they arise, they gather, there is a convoy, but there shall be a standstill that shall bring a standoff that shall liberate a nation. I speak and I say to you, O Canada, this standstill and standoff shall release the future of your nation and your leaders. But America, you shall follow, for there shall be a gathering among trucks, among vehicles, campers. There shall be great gathering of crowds throughout your cities United States and it shall form a unity that shall break the division that the enemy thought that he could make you the divided states for I say you are the United States of America therefore pay attention I'm the God that changes names and I'm the one that said to Abraham, you are Abraham. I spoke and I said to Saul of Tarsus, you are Paul. And so I speak to this nation and I say, you are united. You are free. Therefore, watch your states. Very soon. Keep your eyes upon Wisconsin, but I say Wisconsin soon, soon, soon out of Wisconsin soon, shall there be that which they say would not be done or take place to throw things in a spin, for they tried to spin it, now I will spin it and turn it another direction and I will use what you say Wisconsin son I say Wisconsin soon and then there shall come something unusual Illinois you shall be known as Illinois for a noise shall rise up out of you from Chicago that shall throw your mayor out and a new mayor shall arise and a great reform shall come unto you Illinois because there shall be a noise of conservatism that shall arise and break the power of liberalism that have been over you listen to me says the Lord but this shall also happen in Texas you shall be known as Texas because there shall come an attitude of legislation that shall arise and they shall surely say do not mix mess with Texas for I will show you how a state should be governed and I will make this a prototype throughout the United States as I look even to Florida you have keys among you and that which shall arise up out of Florida shall be the key to future government future leaders future rulers shall be the key that shall unlock the nation in Florida my hand is upon not just one but there are two and three that shall arise to restore the liberties and freedoms of this land once again Colorado you say I call you Colorado because the Spirit of the Lord says you are a stench and what you have done in secret and yet you pride yourself of your freedoms and God says I will show you that they are but bondage 
and you will become Colorado. You will do my will. You will do the will of the people that shall not be, that legislates things that bring bondage, but there shall be a doing so strong that a movement will arise out of you that shall restore the gold back to the nation of virtue, of morals, of honor. Yes, this shall happen. And I, California, I'm calling for you. For there shall be another rush of gold. Because God says, I will take away the old California to establish the new. And they have left you. There are those that have left, but God says, watch a great return as it was a gold rush, a great return to you. Because God says the leaders, and I even speak of a woman who thinks that she shall arise and stay seated. The Lord says their days are numbered. They will be removed. And I will show you, California, that you are more red than what they have report, than what they have said. And I will turn it around and I will cause a gold rush return to you because things will change. Thank you, Lord. Do you hear the sound of my footsteps? Says the living God. Walking. Moving among the earth at this time. And yet you have stood in the place of the Spirit of agreement with me, declaring, let the lion roar. Do you really understand what you have added your decree and agreement with where I say, look about the earth. You will see the manifestation of my roaring as protests are arising and the sound of roaring is we want our freedoms. This is not just human resistance. But this is a prophetic sound of the Lion of Judah and my roar reforming and reviving the nations. Why do you think the nation of the Lion, United Kingdom, stood and said we've had enough of the narratives, the lies, the mandates, the decrees. God says they were the one to arise because the Lion of Judah has been roaring loudly through the nations and you're seeing it as with the United Kingdom. But now pay attention for as the days when Nebuchadnezzar demanded decrees that those who are of his kingdom must bow. And this has been the same spirit and mentality among leaders demanding of their people to steal their freedoms, to dictate to them what they must do as Nebuchadnezzar. But as the fire was turned up hotter, even seven times hotter, yet there were three. I said there were three, says the Spirit of God. They were Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And they would not bow to the decree and to the mandates. And it brought a breaking of the spirits of darkness who were using government to afflict man. I speak this to you so that you may understand that this is not just a story. But this is happening once again as the lion is roaring. Therefore, as there was a Shadrach, and there was a Meshach, and there was a Bendigo who did not bow, there are three nations that shall arise at this time that shall break the mandate.
mandates and break the powers of darkness in the earth. Listen closely. Keep your eyes upon the sound of the lion of Canada. Pay attention to the sound of the lion of Judah that shall roar through protests in Australia. And pay attention to the sound of the lion of Judah in you, United States. And it shall be Canada, United States, and Australia that shall arise in their numbers and in their protestings that shall break a decree and a sound that has touched this globe. Oh yeah, there will be other nations that will arise. God says pay attention because in Australia, in Canada, and in the United States, your resistance to bow and your standing up shall release a change of leadership and those who rule. That you will never face this fire of affliction again. And those who cooperated shall be like Nebuchadnezzar, where they will be seen in the craziness and the foolishness of their deeds as he who ate grass. Come on. God has got a sense of humor, but listen to me, those of you in Australia, God is raising up a Shayla and raising up a mate. There is a husband and wife that shall, and they've already been chosen of God, selected of God, and they've been appointed by God that shall rise up out of the midst of your fire and shall bring you Australia from upside down to right side up, back in order. It's coming. Therefore, do not back down, do not bow. Stand, and you will see the salvation of God and God introducing something. It's almost like a parental spirit that's coming because of what they've done to you and to the children of your nation. Amen.